Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is data persistency and then I will explain what is relative path and absolute path and I will explain what is Pickle module, Marshall module, Shelvo module and DBM package. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide a link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is persistent data. Data persistency is the concept of storing data in a persistent form. Data which is stored permanently is known as persistent data. It means that data should be permanently stored on disk for further manipulation. Data can be stored permanently by using two ways. First one is by using file. If you save data in file, you can store data permanently. And next, if you save data in database, you can store data permanently. So data persistency can be achieved by using two ways. First one is by using files and next one is by using database. If you store data in file or database, then later on you can perform various operations on that particular data like you can modify data, you can delete data and so on. And every file contains file name. All information stored in a computer must be in the form of file. We will store each and every information in computer in the form of file. There are different types of files like data file, text file, program file, so on. For example, file.txt, it is text file. And for example, program.py, where it is python file and so on. Next I will explain what is relative path and absolute path. For example, my file is present in local disk D and in local disk D inside Nagendra folder there is python folder and inside python folder there is my file that file name is new.py where local disk D colon slash Nagendra which is folder slash python which is folder slash new.py this is my file name and this entire location is known as absolute path and for example if I write just python slash new.py we call it as relative path. Next I will explain what is speak module. Pickle module, Marshall module, Shelvo module and DBM package. All these are persistent storage modules that is nothing but by using these modules you can store data permanently. First I will explain what is Pickle module. The process of converting any kind of objects like dictionaries, tuples, list, so on in byte streams that is in the form of zeros and ones is called pickling. Pickling is nothing but it is process of converting python objects like list, tuple, set, dictionaries into binary format is known as pickling and we can also call this pickling as serialization or we can also call it as flattening or we can also call it as marshalling. Python pickle module is used for serializing and deserializing python objects. Serializing is nothing but it is the process of converting python objects like list, tuple, set, dictionaries into binary format that is in the form of zeros and ones is known as serializing and deserializing means it is process of converting binary code into python objects like list, tuple, set, dictionary so on. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is use of this pickle module. Just remember this pickle.dump method is used to pickle objects and pickle.load method is used to unpickle objects. In order to use pickle module at first you need to import pickle and after importing pickle module we can do pickling and unpickling. This is example, at first you need to import pickle module. By using import keyword you can import any module. I want to import pickle module. So at first write import pickle, p-i-c-k-l-e. Let us consider one list. So take here a equal to, where a is object. So write a equal to, I am taking list. List contains three items. They are name, sai, comma, 10, comma, btec. Normally in previous example, we stored text in our file. For example, if you consider file.txt, we stored only text files like hello, btec, how are you, all these are text data. Now I want to store list inside this file. Normally we are not storing text data, we are storing list. So in order to store list inside file, just write here b equal to where b is object equal to open, inside open function and I want to store this list inside my file. My file name is file.txt which is present in local disk D. So just write here b equal to open in quotations, right? d colon slash file.txt. I am storing this list inside this file and in order to store list, you need to open this file in write binary mode. We can only use binary mode. We are not storing text, we are storing list. So take here write binary mode. Now I want to copy list which is present in object A to object B. So just write here pickle, pickle.dump. By using pickle.dump method, we can copy list which is present in object A to object B. Object B is nothing but file.txt. So just write here pickle.dump A comma B. Whenever you run this code, it will store list into my file. That file name is file.txt which is present in local disk D. And we should not open this file directly. If you open this file directly, you cannot see this data. You cannot see list. 
you can see data like 0, 1, dollar sign, so on, 0, 1, so on. Actually, whatever the list that we stored inside this file, this is in binary format. So whenever you open this file, you can see data like 0, 1, dollar sign, so on, which is not in understandable format. And in order to see this list, which is present in file.txt, again, you need to write code. So at first, write import pickle. And next I took here object f, you can take any object, I took here f equal to open, at first we need to open this file. So just write here open d colon slash file.txt in quotations comma, whatever the data that is present inside my file.txt, I want to see this data. So you need to open this file in read binary mode because I want to read data. And next write here print, inside print function write pkill.load and my file is present in object f, so just write here f. Whenever you run this code, you will get output psi, comma, 10, comma, btec. If you want to add any objects like list or set or tuple or dictionaries inside your file, just write here pickle.dump of a, comma, b, where pickle.dump is used to pickle objects and next one is pickle.load, where pickle.load is used to unpickle objects. Next I will explain Marshall module. Marshall module is same as pickle module. I will give an example. In order to use Marshall module, at first you need to import Marshall module. By using import keyword, you can import any module. I written here import Marshall. And next write here a equal to psi comma 10 comma btec. Now I want to copy this list to file. That file name is file.txt. So just write here b equal to open file.txt comma write binary mode. And next write here marshall.dumps d-u-m-p-s marshall.dumps of a comma b. Guys, this module is same as pickle module. Only difference is that in place of writing pickle.dump, write here marshall.dumps. You need to add s here. Whenever you run this line of code, whatever the list that is present in object A, this list is copied to file.txt, which is present in object B. And next, I will write another program in order to see output. Just write here import marshall. And next, write here f equal to open file.txt double quotations close comma. I want to see output. So just to open this file in read binary mode. And next write here marshall.loads. Whereas in pickle module, we need to write pickle.load. But whereas in marshall module, you need to write marshall.loads. Add s here. My file is present in object f. So just write here f. Whenever you run this code, you will get output psi, comma, 10, comma, btec. This is marshall module. Next, I will explain shell module. We call this pickle module, marshall module, shell module and dbm package as persistent storage modules because we are storing data permanently in files and databases. Whereas by using pickle module and marshall module, we can store data permanently in file. And by using shellvo module and dbm package, we can store data permanently in databases. So we call these modules as persistent storage modules. Next, I will explain what is shellvo module. By using shellvo module, we can create database. I will write program in order to create database. By using import keyword, you can import any module. I want to import shellvo module. So just write here import shellvo. And next write here a equal to shellvo.open. I want to create database. The database name is test. So just write here a equal to shellvo.open. And I want to create this database in local disk D. So just write here d colon slash. And I am giving database name as test. Whenever you run this line of code and click enter, it will create database. Now inside this database, I want to show dictionary. I want to show dictionaries like name ajay, age 23 and marks 75. And my database is present in object A. So write here a of name equal to ajay. And similarly, a of age equal to 23 and a of marks equal to 75. After performing this operation, at last we need to close our database. My database is present in object A, so just write here a dot close. Whenever you run this code, it will create database with name, test, and it will add dictionary, name ajay, age 23 and marks 75 inside my database. And at last we need to close our database by using a dot close. We create a database. Next, I will explain how to see data on my output screen. So just write here import shelve. Next, open database a equal to shellwood.open and my database name is test which is present in local disk d. So write d colon slash test. Whenever you run this code, it will open database. My database contains name ajay, age 23 and mark 75. This is my database name. I want to print this data which is present in database. So just write here print. Inside print write list. I want to print output in the form of list. So write here list of a dot items. Whenever you run this line of code, you will get output. It will print output in the form of list. This is my output. Now I want to change age 23 to 25. After writing this line of code, just write here a of age equal to 25. Whenever you run this line of code, it will change age 23 to 25. And at last write a dot close. This is program in order to create database, adding dictionaries inside database. Next, how to see data in my output screen. 
I next this is program in order to modify data in my database. Explain DBM package where DBM stands for database manager. By using Shelvo module and DBM package, we can create database. I'll write program in order to create database by using DBM package. I want to import package that is DBM. So just write here import DBM and next write here a equal to DBM dot open. I want to create database with name data. So just write here DBM dot open and I want to create this database in local disk D. So write here D colon slash my database name is data dot DB. Guys definitely write here dot DB because we are creating database. We will create database with dot DB extension comma in. If you want to create new database then you need to use in mode where n stands for new and next i want to add data like name sai my database is present in object a so write here a of name equal to sai where sai is string so take quotations and similarly a of age equal to 25 a of marks equal to 75 after performing this operation at last we need to close our database my database is present in object a so just write here a dot close whenever you run this code it will create database and it will add data name sai age 25 and marks 75 inside my database and at last it will close my database guys these are various modes available in this dbm package first one is n where n stands for new mode if you want to create new database use n mode if you want to read data which is present in database use read mode and if you want to write data use write mode and where by using c mode you can perform both read and write operations guys in exam you may get question like explain python modules for serialization and persistency whenever this question comes in exam then you need to write this diagram write this diagram and then you need to write pickle module marshall module shelvo module and dbm package serialization is nothing but it is process of converting python objects like list set tuple dictionaries into binary format that is in the form of zeros and ones is known as serialization and persistence is nothing but permanent storage by using files and databases we can store data permanently 